Hey guys, Anthony here with a tutorial on how to edit templates in PromoWise. If you don't know what PromoWise is, check this video to learn more about it. Especially watch the demo video to better understand this tutorial. With your purchase of PromoWise, you will get a hundred pre-made animated templates. And in order to use these templates, you'd have to download them from your members area. Once you download the files, this is what they will look like. Each file has a file name with a .promoise underscore zip extension. You don't need to unzip the files because you can directly open them in PromoWise. Once you open a pre-made template in PromoWise, it will automatically generate a project file with a .promoise extension and a corresponding folder of the same name containing all the assets in the project. Here's an example of an actual project file and the corresponding assets folder. In this tutorial, I'm going to use the video marketing templates as an example. Essentially, I'm going to use most of the video marketing template and the last scene of the alternate video marketing template. Now, you don't have to do it this way, but I'm just showing you the possibilities. So here I've got promo as open. Let's start by opening the video marketing template. We'll choose the template and open it. In this first scene, you'll initially see what looks like a blank canvas. In this left side panel, it'll display all the layers for elements in that scene. You'll have to use this slider to reveal the elements. And you'll notice all these buttons here to edit different elements. For example, right now there is no background image or video on the scene. I can use this image button. To add an image background, I can also add an image or a video background using these two buttons below. And I can preview this scene by checking this box down below. Now, if I decided that I don't want this blue background, I can click this eye icon for the corresponding element. In this case, it's blue. So if I click on this eye icon for the blue element, as you can see, the image background disappears. Now, in some templates, this does not work, and you would have to click this X button instead. For example, if I preview the scene again, you'll notice that the blue background still shows. So if I click the X button corresponding to that element, it will no longer show. I can of course add it back if I want to. Let me use this slider again to bring it back to this position here. Now if I wanted to change this text right here, that says for your business to for your organization, I can just click this text button and then just change this right here and then click OK. Now bear in mind that these templates come with a voiceover, so less changes is better. Similarly, if I wanted to add a video background, I can use this Add Scene Video Background button and as you can see the video background is showing now. If I don't want the video background, I can click this Remove Scene Background button In this second slide, we've got an SVG image right here and if I click on it, you will notice that I can move it by dragging, and I can also use these handles to scale it up and down. Now this may not be possible for all images. In some cases you may have to use the scale dialog box. So you would just hover over the edit button of the respective element and then you would see the scale dialog box. And then you can use these plus and minus buttons to scale it up and down. And the same applies to these text boxes. 
So these edit options will depend on how the template is designed. And once you've completed editing the full template, you can use this button right here to save the project and to preview it. And finally, you can use this create video button to render an MP4 video. Now let's open the alternate video marketing template. Now on this template, I just want to use the last scene. And again, I'll use this slider to go to the exact position. And here, I just need to change this logo right here. As you can see, there are quite a few elements overlapping. And you can use this, these layers right here to hide some of these elements. So the logo one is the green one right here. So if I click on this green edit button, I can replace the logo. Depending on how the template is designed, like I mentioned earlier, in some cases you can move these elements. For example, if I wanted to move this text, I believe it's this one right here. I would just click on this edit button and move it like so. And then I can move this logo down here if I wanted to. Let's take a quick preview. So that looks pretty good. Now since we just want this one scene in this template, you can use this create video button right here. Create video from this scene button to render an MP4 only for that particular scene. And then finally, you'd have to use a video editor to put the full video together. And here is the final rendered MP4 video. Hope you found this tutorial useful. Let me know if you've got any questions. And thanks for watching.